Welcome back to WZBN News. Thank you for joining us on another edition of Mercer County Close-Up. I'm Mark Fontes. Well, movies are being made and shot all the time in and around Mercer County, especially in Princeton. And of course, while it seems like Halloween is so many months away and that you might not be in the market for horror films, they of course are in theaters year-round. And of course, one local filmmaker who is going to be shooting some scenes in Princeton is excited to get a project that he's got going off the ground and it should be ready to be viewed online and elsewhere hopefully by the summer and if all goes well it'll be even ahead of schedule but perhaps more like around Halloween and we're here to talk to that director today Ryan Weber is our guest today Ryan thanks Hi. so much for joining us on the show Thank you for having me well Mary Horror is the name of your current work I mean we've seen the trailer is available online at maryhorror.com but mm -hmm. tell me about the film I mean some of us know the story behind it but what's it really about well Mary um, Mary Horror is about Mary Horowitz who's a normal high school senior mm -hmm. uh, and she actually comes home to witness her she witnesses her family being brutally murdered mm. in her house um, and she gets put into a psych ward uh, where they kind of keep her safe and uh, the town almost turns the horrific events of her family being murdered into this tourist attraction in the town right and as she's you know away in the psych ward she has no idea what's going on right. in the outside world okay so um basically she f she finds out that this is happening and they're accusing her of the murders mm -hmm. and that she did it and um they're they're pretty much calling her mary horror the whole town the sheriff the mayor the you know everybody um the news reporter mm -hmm. um and so she thinks the only way out is to really to end her life so she ends up killing herself and coming back from the dead and killing everybody that wronged her. Wow. And of course, you know, it takes place in your hometown of Bernardsville, located up in Somerset County. Yes. But of course, you know, you've drawn actors from all over central New Jersey, mm -hmm. some right here in Mercer. You also intend to shoot some scenes, I understand, in Princeton, which we were talking before the broadcast. Very yes. photogenic and famous place. You are oh, looking yes. at shooting in Princeton. Yes. Um, I'm hoping to shoot some exterior shots in Princeton. Uh, I think it's going to be... Uh, I think it's a great place to shoot. I, I know they shot Transformers 2 or 3 here, right. I believe. And um, every time I drive through it, I just think this is the perfect place to film a movie, especially a horror film. Mm -hmm. uh, my girlfriend, Kristen, works in, uh, in Princeton as well. And there's also a house over in Franklin Township uh, that's a historic house that I'm, I'm going to be shooting. I'm not sure if that's part of Mercer County, but it's close. Mm -hmm. um, it's very... Uh, creepy house. So Absolutely. it inspired me to do a lot of the the uh, the story and centering it around it. So. We've yeah, we, you and I have both been there to the house, and that you know Franklin just being outside Mercer, of course. If you haven't seen on the web you just, on the web just yet, MaryHorror.com is where you can view the trailer, which is in it, and you'll also see yours truly. Now I understand you know we met over the summer, and you told me about this opportunity for a news reporter character to be cast in the movie Mary Horror. Uh, mm -hmm. What gave you the idea to have a, a you know a reporter character in that? Well, I thought, you know, I, everybody in the movie is kind of, you know, you, you can't believe what they're saying, sort of, if it's true or not, mm -hmm. but I needed someone that, that, that could actually deliver the facts, and I thought, I thought the news character would be perfect for that. Um, and when I met you, mm -hmm. I heard your voice, and I was like, you have to, could you play a news reporter? <laughs> and you ended up actually being a news reporter, mm -hmm. and, and working here, and having a, a great place to work, and... Um, I'm very excited to have you aboard, and you did a part in the trailer um, that you could see on the website, and uh, I think you did a fantastic job, and, and you're the perfect part uh, per per perfect person to play Chuck. I appreciate it. Yes, <laughs> Chuck, my character, folks, if you get, do get a chance, please check out Mary Horror, spelled just like that, M-A-R-Y-H-O-R-R-O-R.com. You can see the trailer, and about a minute and a half, a little bit more than that through, you will see me. I play mm -hmm. Chuck, the news reporter. Now, regarding Mary Horror, it's not mm -hmm. the first film you've actually gotten started on. You've, mm -hmm. you know, done some other work. What gave you the idea, you know, um, you know, how did you come up with Mary Horror as a movie idea, really? Well, um... About five years ago, mm -hmm. I thought of the idea of of uh, this character. I just I wanted to make some someone uh, an iconic character like yeah. Freddie or Jason mm -hmm. or Mike Myers, but there was not a woman character like that. And right. I thought, you know, this has to be done. This has to be done in a movie. I mean, we have Carrie and all that and that kind of thing, but it's no one actually going out and and slaying people and. And uh, I th just think it's a great story about life, too, and uh, what you know, people go through. And it, it could actually happen besides coming back to life, mm -hmm. but um, 
There has to be some fiction, you know. Yeah. And of course, Freddy <laughs> is Freddy is just one horror character who, in just the last year, has been uh, brought back through a new, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street yeah. film. And of course, his character is like he like the Robert England character back in the day, but a little bit different. And I mean, uh, the film is, you know, we've seen websites like Indiegogo.com mm -hmm. where people support independent films like this. What steps have you taken towards getting, you know, money raised for the film to help get everything more off the ground? Well, I have all the locations mm -hmm. and all all the actors are ready to act and and be a great uh, a part of this great film and um, I I saw Indiegogo.com and I a lot of my friends that are filmmakers were using it to raise their funds and I <laughs> thought that would be a great uh, platform to you know raise funds and uh, so I put the trail I said well, we have to make a trailer and get that up there and people will you know We'll see what we're all about and what we're going to do, and you can actually get prizes in return too on the website. So That's it's great. So uh, it involves all the people that want to be involved in the movie, you know, by by donating uh, some some of the funds. So it's. It's a great website, um, mm -hmm. and there's, there should be more like it, I hope. You great. Know. And, of course, you know, everybody who, uh, you know, made it to Hollywood as a director, I mean, they, their dreams all started somewhere, and a lot of them came from the Northeast originally and made it big in Hollywood. Is that where you hope, you know, that this uh, career venture of yours takes you with films like Mary Horror? Do you hope to make it, you know, even more so, you know, carve out your own niche as a director? I hope day? so. I mm -hmm. hope so, because um, I was in a band, uh, still still play with the band called Crash Romeo mm -hmm. for over 10 years, and we were signed to a record label and I toured all across the country and had all that exp you know, great experience doing that but I've always done films since I was 15 years mm -hmm. old and I've done music videos and short films with my friends and uh, I feel like it's time to show everyone what I really got and um, I would love to do it in the future and, and uh, make a career out of it and I just I love film and love movies you know for, for as long as I can remember and I just I'm a very creative person so I need that outlet um, to express myself and to show people what I have. Everyone who's been a part of Mary Horror up until now sees that about you, so we wish you all the best, and thanks thank so you. much for joining Thank us you. on our broadcast. Thanks. I'm Mark Fontes. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Mercer County Close-Up. We'll see you again real soon.